life is better than this, sir. Real life is in God. You don't find any life in a bottle or in any substance. Real life is in the Son of God. The Bible is very clear. If you have the Son of God, you have life. If you do not have the Son of God, you do not have life. There's a reason why people love Jesus. Everywhere he went, people love him. Jesus is a perfect man. And Jesus himself says, unless you are perfect, you will not make it. He expects you to be perfect. To be perfect as the Father. He expects your righteousness to exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees. Don't be scared by the preaching. I'm just amplifying my voice. But just like Jesus, I tell you who to fear. Jesus Christ says, you need to fear him who can put the body and the soul in hell. That is the Father. The Bible is very clear. It's a terrible thing. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of God. No one can deliver you from the hand of God. When you get in trouble with God, no one can deliver you from His hand. You get into trouble with God by sinning. Your sin gets you into trouble. Because sin is not a mistake. Sin is an act of your will. Sin is an act of your choice, a choice that you act upon because you have free will. No one can take your hand and make you to murder another person. It's a choice. No one can make you to tell a lie. It's a choice. So God will now hold you responsible for the sin of Adam and Eve. He's going to hold you accountable for your own sin, for your own lust, for your own party mouth, profanity, for your own sleeping around, having sex outside marriage. God is going to hold you accountable for those things. But behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. I used to be a sinner, just like any other sinner. But now I'm no longer a sinner. And that's the same thing God wants to do. Christians are not sinners. Christians are saints. And God wants to bring you into that family. You have a family waiting for you. The family of God. That you can be washed with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And come out of your sin. And walk in obedience to the living God. It was necessary for Christ Jesus to suffer, to die, and to, raise, to rise again from the dead. It was necessary for the Son of God to come to die and, raise, and rise again from the dead. He loves you, cares about you. Because in the end, the Bible says, it is appointed unto man who wants to die. After that comes the judgment. After you die, God will judge you for the life that you've lived. This place
place promotes lust. God is against lust, is against lust. When you're checking the pictures, you're checking the women, you're undressing them in your mind. You're guilty, guilty, guilty before a holy God. God is going to judge the living and the dead by the man Christ Jesus. There is nothing to view in this place. It says scenic view. There's nothing good to view. Everything to view is just sinful. People indulge in sin. As though there's not going to be judgment day. There will be judgment day. Judgment is just being delayed. This is the long suffering of God. Do not count it slack, slackness, but rather this is the long suffering of God. God has been patient toward you, waiting for you to repent and believe in His Son Jesus Christ and turn away from your sin. It's possible to live to please God, to live a holy life, a perfect life. It's possible. It's only possible through Jesus Christ. On your own, it's not possible. You try, you fail all the time. It's only possible through Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It says, unless you repent, you will likewise perish. That perishing is talking about hellfire. It's an urgent message. People need to hear the warning. The problem is not with the preaching. Hell is there. I cannot change it. You cannot change it. The reality is there. Nobody can change it. And the way you're living now is going to end you up in hell. I just have to be frank with you. But thank God for the good news. We have good news for you. You can know God. You can be saved from your sin. You can be born again. You can come to the knowledge of salvation through Jesus Christ. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. The reward you get for your life of sin is hell, hell, hell. You know the truth. Your conscience condemns you of your sin. You will give an account unto God on the day of judgment. For your life that you're living, you're going to give an account unto God on the day of judgment. God cares about you to save you. Hello, sir. We all believe. Sorry? I said we know Jesus. We love Jesus. Prove it, sir. I say, I know Jesus. Yeah, we prove all, it. We all in there and love Jesus. Prove it. Prove it to me you love Jesus. I'll, 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 you. Obey, I'll obey him. I obey him too. No, you don't. No, you don't. Do you sin? We all sin. You sin as well. Says who? That word right there. Can you show me? All men come short of God. We all are. Yeah, we came. We, we came short. We all are filthy rags in his presence. Right what now. Else you want to know? In the past. By yeah. the way, I grew up my whole life. Five years old and up, I know that word as well as you do. Okay? You do what now? I know that word as well as you do, I assure you. And I will tell you, I, I appreciate what you're doing. I love what you're doing. Thank you. 
I'm not coming here to complain. I'm not coming here to challenge you. I don't. I don't think. I don't think you are com you are coming to challenge. I'm not challenging. Yeah. You. I come to tell you, brother. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you. But, but sir, you know Jesus Christ is very clear that he that commits sin is a slave to sin. Absolutely. You believe that you. So I assume you know. So I just like you said. I've asked forgiveness of my sins. I'm covered by His blood. So let me let me put it this way. Uh, so a, a pedophile. Let me give an example. A pedophile or a porn watcher, right? And they go to God and ask for forgiveness. Yes. And tomorrow they do it again. You think that's repentance? That's not correct. That's not repentance. Okay. That's not true repentance. So are you telling me you you sin? You so ask for forgiveness? Me, are you telling me I have that Christ dies has to die for me constantly? No. Sorry. Are you telling me that Christ had to die for me constantly? That I'm going to have to be perfect every day? No, he doesn't no. die. No, he, no he, he's not. Have, I don't have to be perfect every day. But I he can said, ask for my forgiveness. But I personally never have the strength to change myself on my own. He's the only one that can change me. Yeah, but... And if I repent when I sin, he will eventually change me. If not, he will correct me. It's a, it's a matter of if, remember, not a matter of when. Remember, it's the seeds we plant we have to reap. Right? Yeah, it's a matter of, of, of if. Sin is a matter of if. It's not a matter of when. No, it's... It you is, see the difference? If, it is if, a, I agree with that. Yeah, if I say when, that means I'm planning to go get drunk and then ask for forgiveness yeah. later. No, I agree or I'm with planning you. to go lust and ask for forgiveness later. Yes. But if it's a matter of if, that means I'm not planning it. Uh, whatever happens, circumstances, I sing. But I'm broken about it, I repent, and I turn away from it. But what about if I keep going back and doing these things? That is not the life that God has called that us to live. That is not the life He called us. Yeah, He called us to forsake our sins. You know, you can stand right there safely on this. No, I rather, I don't yeah, want to be on the property. The road, yeah, I don't want to be That's on the... That's not their property. I'm in the business. I know what property looks like. Yeah, I'm I rather, you. I'm like safer, you know, just... This is much safer than you being right there by the curb. You're going to get hit. Yeah, what I mean by safe, like, when they get the police involved, I don't want to start nitpicking stuff, you know. Call, I'm not going to call the police on you. So. What you're preaching is God's word. We're not, I'm not complaining. I come up to say hi to you. So you, you want to be here? No, I'm not the only Okay. I'm actually right. having a business meeting. This is a cigar bar on this side. That's a restaurant on that side. The yeah. cigar bar. But sir, you know, this, is, this is not good for have, you, sir. In the cigar bar, we have a lot of Christian brothers in there. This is not good for you. Let sir. me tell you something. We're all different type of warriors. Okay, you think everybody is going to do what you're doing. No, I'm not I saying. I am called differently. This is not I'm, the only hey, thing I Christ do. Christ himself mm -hmm. walked into this, into those places like that and walked out with people. No, he didn't. Christ didn't. himself, he did, sure, he sure did. Christ came to save those who were lost. Yeah, he doesn't he didn't walk to, to he didn't like come a bar. You can't pretend you're righteous and walk around like you're a righteous man. I'm not doing you're that. You're a sinner just like everybody else. You I cannot, used to be. Wait a minute. You I cannot used to be. I'm not me, longer. You cannot call me out knowing, not knowing what my calling is. You don't know why I'm in there. I'm not calling don't you. Don't judge sir. me. Don't take it personal. I'm not calling don't call you. Call me and tell me and judge me. I'm not me. calling you. So if I'm we can that, move to the shed. If I'm in the place, by the way, if I'm in that place, don't judge me while I'm in there. No, I'm not judging you. So sitting in that place right there, a lot of Christian brothers that would appreciate you. Okay, setting in this. Well, I don't, bar. I don't know, I don't know you the don't people know. there. Okay. It's a general message okay. I'm preaching. I don't think the owner invite. If they invite me, I will consider I coming. But I don't. Buy you food. If if <laughs> if you're the owner and you invite me, I may consider. But if I go there, I will have to preach. I'm not gonna sit quietly. No, you can't. I appreciate. I came up to. I came out to compliment you, not to argue with you. No, sir, but I'm not really looking for compliment. You know, I'm no, just sir. trying to, to no, help I'm, people to know I God. Will, I, will give, I will give praise to God himself for you. Yeah, that? you can do that, yeah. I appreciate that. I'd rather have God, you know, compliment me. Or oh, I compliment. I, th I thanked him just now. So, so the, the, the thing spirit, is... In my spirit, while you were preaching, I thanked yeah. him. Praise God for that. Yeah, we'll praise him. Yeah, but well, you're, I want you to know we're not your enemy. I'm not your enemy. No, I'm I didn't. I didn't think. I didn't think you were my enemy. I'm your brother. But even if Sir. you didn't think that, I want you to know you're not my enemy. You're my brother. I appreciate you. I appreciate what you're doing because you're doing His work. Amen. That, you need anything for me? No, sir. I'm, I can buy you. Food. No, no, no. I'm. I'm good. good uh, God. God has blessed me with 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 I some. Like with, shirt, with a job. Thank you, sir. Hey, God. do me a favor. Keep yes, doing sir. What you're doing. Sorry. Keep doing what you, let me encourage you, keep doing what you're doing. Can I encourage you yes. also? 
Yes. If you claim to know Jesus Christ, yes. can you turn away from sin? I will turn away from sin. And what I'm getting from you is that sin is unavo unavoidable. That's what you claim to be saying. Like we all. No, I didn't say that. Like we all sin. We're like filthy rag. No. I'm not longer a filthy. I used to be a filthy rag until what in like you? in like October 2008. Did you do that on your own? Jesus Christ saved me. Did you do that on your own? No, 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 no. My point was. But I, I had part in that. I had part in that. I don't care. You, without this blood, you still are. Yeah, 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 yeah. So for you, example, you know, you know, for example, the blood of Jesus is shed for the whole world. Yes. That's what the Bible preaches. The whole but, world. but would you say that the whole world is saved? What is the difference? Does God still need to do something? On top of that, the oh. problem the problem is with the people. Some believe, some do not. Some do not believe. Some obey, some disobey. And why is that? It's a choice. There you go. It's, it's a, choice. a choice. That's yeah. So we cannot put it on God. No. It's on us. If I if I go commit adultery against my wife, it's on me. It's not on God. Yes. That's the seed so, you planted. So God is not calling me into that life. And I don't know what your sin is, but I'm encouraging you not to make excuse and think we're all sinners. You have to do that. You don't have to do it. Believe me, I don't make excuse. Yeah, you don't have to do it. That's what you seem to, to be doing, making excuses. You don't have to. I didn't say that. I'm not saying I live that. I agree yeah. with what you're saying. I mean, you were, you were claiming that we are all sinners. Once no, you're washed by the blood of Jesus, word, you, you're no longer... Was, my first word at you, at her, was, I appreciate what you're doing. And I said, we are all sinners. I acknowledge Thank what you. you're We saying. used to be. We used to, we're no longer sinners. No, you no. know the Bible called Christian saints? No, but we are still you're, not worthy. We're, we're still not capable of doing that without His help. That's why we need His help. No, we need, we need His help. That, I agree with yeah. that. We need His help. But we're not we longer need, sinners. We need his strength. Yeah, we yeah. We, we we need his strength, we need his help, we need his Holy that's, Spirit. Without that we cannot do that's it. That's what I meant. It yeah. wasn't one of we're yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we can keep I, sinning. Yeah, I just need to, to clarify because a lot of people think we, we have dual nature. We no, we are we sinners do. at the same time and we are we're right we're righteous at the same time. It's no, not possible. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's not possible. Thank you. Yeah. But I, hey, you're my brother. Is there anything I can do for you? Sir, I don't I'm not I'm not trying to I'm just trying to preach, I'm not trying to look no, for any kind of help or anything. You're not bothering me one bit. No. You're not bothering us one bit. Yeah. You keep it up. I, I, I encourage you, sir. I don't think I'm nitpicking, but I don't think you need the cigarette, sir. What's that? You don't need a cigarette. Okay. You don't need to dress like that. How are those how, how are those things you comparable? You don't have those things about you that you worry about. The cigar doesn't hurt anybody. This cigar has opened up more social opportunities for me to preach the Word of God than as much as you have. Believe me, the people I sit around, they get, they know my belief. What, are you, what are you trying to save them if from? I did not get their, if I did not get in front of them with some kind of platform, yeah. I'll call a different platform. Your platform right now is that speaker sitting on that street. My platform is in the trenches. I will remind you, when Christ came, He went into the sinners. So you want to go out. get drunk with the drunkards? I don't drink. Sorry? I don't drink. So you want to go fornicate with the sexually drink. immoral? Christ did the same thing. He, go, he, he Christ, did what? What did the he do? The religious, like you're accusing, you sound like the religious man. The religious were making fun of him because he was visiting and eating and dining with prostitutes and tax collectors. And he said, he did, he did that I with am tax here. collectors, Listen not with saying. prostitutes. Listen to what I have to say. Yeah. I am here to save the lost. Mm, that's true. So don't put that back in my face, young man. No. He never, he never, uh, you, you have it, you have that he never smoke or, or get drunk like you're claiming. You look in your own heart and make a decision. If I smoke a cigar, it's not your business. So you know that's not good for you. And you know the Spirit of God is not happy with that. You know that. You have God, a conscience. You're wrong. The Spirit of God has never given me that. The doors he's opened up with this cigar right here is beyond what you've reached. I can assure you. So you, you're, you don't know me, you don't know what I you do. You don't know what I do either. You can't judge me that way. I'm not judging you. I'm just telling you. It's, it's, it's not brother, right for brother, you. You're sitting out here with your nice shirt on. It's, it's, you could be wearing less. You don't have to be that. You don't have to be that. 
much into yourself. That's the same thing. It's a vice just like you, the way you want to look is a vice. You want me to take off all my shirt? Is that what you're claiming? No, but don't judge me on what I'm not I'm judging. Like. I'm just telling you it's not the right thing to do. That you, profanity you know, also. I can set and put it back at you. Yeah. I'm calling you out the truth. What am I eating or drinking or smoking that's not right? I'm not doing any of those things. That doesn't make you better it's than about, me. So that doesn't make you better than me. I'm not saying I'm better than you. Yeah, I'm just encouraging you. That's what you're insinuating. To put it away. It's not good for you. I, hey. Are you saying I can smoke weed and be all right? I don't smoke weed. Are you, but are you saying I can do that you and still be a Christian? No, I didn't say you could do that. You call this, you call this weed? No, I'm, I'm asking you because they're all smoke, right? You're saying I can smoke weed and still be a Christian? So I think you're confused on what a Christian is. What is a Christian? I just told you. He was called. We are to emulate, our, we are to emulate him, not our version of him in your mind. This is the oh, version of him we word. have in the Word of God. All you gotta do is look in the Word. Why did he yeah. Come? I know he, that word well. He came to seek and to I save. I can debate that word with you if you want to debate. No, I'm not debating. I'm just, I'm just I'm encouraging just you. you. You're not. You're not. You know, we did not meet by accident. This is the same thing I'll tell the drunkard. I was preaching earlier there. I was telling a weed smoker the same thing. It's not different from someone smoking a cigarette. I'm going it's to pretty, tell you. It's pretty easy. I'm not being. I'm not it's trying to be like easy religious to sit or something. Street and call people out on your opinion. It's something else. Not a, that, not on my opinion. The word of God. You're calling them out. You're like uh, John the Baptist. John the Baptist had a calling. Is that a be, sin? Be John the Baptist. Is that a sin? What I've been here doing is in the trench and saving lives firsthand. Can you you're go to here, the strip club and do here. the same thing? I don't go to strip clubs. But can you go and do the same thing no, there? I can. I can do that. I, See, I can assure you so I can. I think that's a deception happening. I think you're missing it. I think I can. I think God can send you anywhere he wants to send you. Not in a strip club. If I can control myself, I can. No. With your watching, with your eyes, are you going to blind to your eyes from the music? To, you're going to. I don't have to look upon somebody like that. I'm a grown man. No, hey, there, there, there has here. to be a, a distinction. I am past that. There has to be a distinction, sir. That's right. But a separation. To, so you're you know, trying, a Christian, a so saint is I'm separated saying, from the world. What I'm saying is you're sitting out here on the street calling people out. Be of your, course, if people are in sin, you need to John call the them Baptist. out. Yeah. Be John the Baptist. That's your calling. My calling is to find people and save. Not everyone does the same. We all are different body what members. What are you trying to save we them from? We are all different body members, and you know that. You know very well what scripture I'm talking about. We're all different members of the body together in one body we all don't do the same thing yeah we i all don't do it on your terms we no 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 I'm differently not. don't judge me i'm a brother i'm, I'm not i'm not judging I'm a christian you. I'm brother do not judge and by the way i can not, judge you that's it's not a sin to judge without you without knowing what you're talking about it's it's not a sin to judge don't you judge if me I... without knowing what you're talking about well and i won't judge you but i see what i see i see a man it's easy to walk up down the street but he's not willing to speak to somebody face to face the fact I came out to speak to you, brother, is I'm encouraging you. I to, I to do get I do one-on-one -on -one -on -one evangelism. Do you consider that face-to-face -to -face too? To I do that not here, but I do that in the uh -huh. in the public place. Train station, door to door, all of that. Do you consider that face-to-face? -face? You just judge me without without knowing what I'm doing. You just judge me. So by your own standard, you're falling short of that standard. I don't. I don't think the owner will. Quit being prideful. What is the pride? What is the pride, sir? What? What is the pride? Can you explain to me? What is the pride? Scared of what? No, you can come defend your faith. You're claiming to be a Christian and smoking, living in sin, and claiming that you're saving people. What are you saving them from? You don't save people by indulging in sin just like they, living in the world, living like the world, and trying to save them. You don't, you don't, stand, you don't you do that. No, your microphone. You because you're walking you're away. Little, you're being chicken, man. Why would you hide behind your microphone? Because that's how my voice got heard. You were going there, I couldn't, come I come couldn't hear me. you. No, I, come with me, brother. I don't think the, the owner will let if me. I, if I ask him that you in, will you come with me? Yeah, if you ask the owner he, if it's okay. And we, hey, let me tell you, if I go there, I'm not going to sit on the table. No. If he allows me, I'm going to be there. No, we're I'm going to have here. a pulpit and just preach. That's no, all I'm no. here to I'm do. I'm going to ask if he'll let you come in. I don't think he will. I'll ask him. 
I'll preach on top of my voice, not just sit on the chair. I'm not here to have dinner or lunch. Understood. I'm here to preach. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I go to people's houses, I sit together. Sometimes we go to a restaurant, I'm fine, but right now it's preaching. And sometimes I do one-on-one -on -one too, just, just to correct you if you think this is the only thing I do. You're wrong. I do one on one too. I'm not saying that. You know That's what, what you said. You don't know what I do either. That no, you said that about me earlier. That I'm being, I'm. Be, you think I'm standing out here because I'm scared? Quit being prideful. What is the pride? Quit, quit lashing out of me. I won't lash out of you. No. What is the pride? Can you point out to me what is the pride? The way you're defending yourself. Now. How? Now I'm just clarifying what you accuse me. I'm, I have to. I, I have a chance to clarify. You think I don't do one on one? I have to, if I clarify that's okay. being prideful? No, I don't think so. No. I'm, I'm just clarifying what your your opinion is. You think I don't do one on one? I do. Door to door, train station. It's all for the love of soul. You cannot live in sin and try to save sinners. It's, it doesn't work that way. That's how people have you confused. Jesus never did that. Jesus did not hang with the prostitute like they accuse him as a friend of sinners. He never did that. They came to him. That's the difference. He doesn't go to the house of prostitute and do all those things. They came to him. He sat with them because he knows their heart is ready. If your heart is ready, he will sit with you. He will die with you. And He will try to help you. He's not here to make you have just a good time. He's here to save you from your sin. Any Jesus that doesn't save from your sin is not the real Jesus. Any Jesus that leaves you in your sin is a fake Jesus. Jesus of the Bible, He saved you from your sin. He saved you from smoking, from drinking, from all those bad, bad things. And just because someone is telling you doesn't mean they're judging you. And what do you mean by judging anyway? When someone call you out of your sin, you say that is being judgmental. That's not being judgmental. The Bible says, let the wicked forsake their ways. That's not being judgmental. It's telling you the right way. The way of God. You must turn. You must turn from sin and turn to the living God. That's not being judgmental. It's being real to you. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. He doesn't leave you the way you came to Him. We behold Him, we are changed from glory to glory. There has to be a separation. You're claiming to be a Christian. You have to separate from the world. You cannot live like the world. You cannot go where they go, do what they do, partake of their sin, and lie about it and claim it to be saving them. Let's not be deceived. Jesus Christ will not leave you in your sin.